Hey guys, so um, I was requested to do a gradient nail tutorial and I'm really sorry but I didn't write down who asked me so I'm going to put an annotation with the person's name probably like there. So here are my gradient nails. They didn't turn out as well as um, they did the last time I did it but that's because it's really hard to paint upside down in this setting. Um, obviously you can use any colors you want these are just the colors I use this time I know there are a billion different ways to do gradient nails I personally know maybe like two or three other ways how to do it but this is just one of the easiest ways I know how to do it so um, I hope you guys enjoy so the first thing that I already did is put on a sort of base coat this isn't really a base coat it's from Wet n Wild and it's their top coat but I don't have a base coat right now so if you have a base coat use it and if you really have to just use a top coat just use it <laughs> um, I'm gonna go get a base coat probably this weekend. Um, and then next, I just painted all my nails this color, which is called Ivory from Love and Beauty, which is any white, shimmery kind of color. I hope it's coming off okay. The lighting seems a bit bright here, but yeah. So yeah, I've just painted all my nails like that. And then next, I'm going to use this color, and it's called Sparked from Wet n Wild and it's basically a silver and pink fine shimmer color and this may seem weird to you but I'm going to start on my middle finger because that finger is the driest because I was initially just going to show you one finger but I ended up painting all my fingers <laughs> so um, I'm going to swipe off quite most of the polish on the brush because I want a very thin layer and I'm going to paint not the entire nail but um, basically maybe a little bit of space from the nail bed all the way to the top, the, the tip of the nail. So that way, it's kind of it's gonna help us with our gradient effect. So that's what I mean by that. <coughs> okay, so I've basically done that to all my nails. And next, I'm going to use this color from Sinful Colors. It's called I Miss You. And it's basically a darker, more purple shimmer, shimmer, bleh, purple and silver actually, and the shimmers are quite larger. So again, I'm going to wipe off most of the polish from the brush because I want to control exactly how much is going on my nail. And you're basically going to go over that again, but instead of, whoops, there's still a bit on the polish, I mean on the brush. Um, you're gonna start even a little bit higher, so this time probably about, last time was probably a third, I mean two thirds of your nail, this time gonna, it's gonna be like the top half of your nail. So, that. Okay, so now that that is dry, I'm gonna move on to my third to last step. <laughs> and that is gonna be using like a metallic magenta color-ish. This is called Mauve Frost also for Wet n Wild. So. Yep. And this, we're just going to paint pretty much the tips of our nails. You can, again, you're going to swipe off most of the color to make sure you can control how much goes on there. So pretty much that much. And try not to make it like a straight line across. That way it'll be easier to cover up with glitter and blend in later. So I'm just going to do that for all my nails. Um, okay, so this is basically what my nails look like now, and you can still pretty much see the lines. So I'm going to take this, which is a really chunky silver and iridescent 3D-ish glitter. Also from Wet n Wild, it's called Kaleidoscope. And this color, I'm going to paint over my entire nail, like nail bed to tip. So... And I'm going to concentrate the glitter where the metallic color meets everything else. Okay, so now it's pretty much blended in. This is the best I could do on camera. I feel like it's come out better <laughs> other times that I've done it, but it'll be easier for you guys. So lastly, I'm just going to take my cop bleh, top coat and just seal everything in. And yeah. Do, 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 do. I put a pretty thick top coat so that my nails feel smooth and you don't feel the like bumpy glitter and plus it protects your nails 
and I'll paint my other hand in a second, but yeah, this is our finished product. Um, I'm going to put some pictures probably at the beginning and the end, so enjoy, and I hope you guys try it out, and if you try it out, leave me a video response, or leave me a picture on my Tumblr or something, yeah. Alright, so uh, thanks for watching, guys.